Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to discuss briefly with you guys a new security vulnerability that is all over the tech news space. And if you've not heard about it yet, it's referred to as Folina, Folina, not sure how to pronounce that. But it is one that you wanna pay attention to. It affects Windows clients, Windows 7 and above, all the way through Windows 11. Now, the vulnerability uh, is around a tool that has been built into Windows client operating systems since Windows 7, and that is the Microsoft Support and Diagnostic Tool, MSDT. Now, a hacker with this vulnerability can essentially send a malicious Word document or other Office document, and it takes advantage of this vulnerability found in MSDT. The attacker can now run arbitrary code against that end user's workstation, whether that is uh, moving laterally, just uh, investigating what's on the workstation, uh, installing crypto miners, installing other malicious tools, Trojans, and even ransomware. Microsoft recently, just in the past day or two, the guidance to remediate or work around this vulnerability found in MSDT. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a PowerShell script that I've just hacked together this morning that helps you to implement the first part of this workaround and kind of perform the heavy lifting so that you don't have to manually perform these steps. So let's take a look at that. So here we have from the Microsoft Security Response Center, the steps that Microsoft recommends to remediate this critical vulnerability with the MSDT uh, tool that's built into Windows client operating systems. So as you notice, I'm gonna blow this up just a bit. Uh, we've got guidance for CVE 2022-30190, Microsoft Support Diagnostic Tool Vulnerability. So we want to disable the MSDT URL protocol, and then they also recommend certain settings in Microsoft Defender. The main implementation of the remediation is to turn off the MSDT uh, URL protocol. Now, there is a registry key that you need to look for, you need to back it up, and then you want to delete that registry key. Now, what I have done is I have hacked together a PowerShell script that allows us to essentially do this uh, without the heavy lifting of the manual processes. So, I'm just going to step you guys through the PowerShell script. I'm going to link to the GitHub page where you can actually uh, download this PowerShell script. The first thing that the PowerShell script does is it actually checks for this registry key. This is a uh, HKEY uh, classes root uh, registry key location and the uh, registry key is ms-msdt. So this is the registry key Microsoft wants you to get rid of. So in this check, we're performing a check for that key and it's going to ask for some user input. Now you can take the prompts out and just have this run in a fully automated way. However, the way I've initially written it is for interactive uh, remediation. So you can run the script, answer the prompts, which I will show you how it looks when you run the script and you can run it in that interactive way and it's going to remediate that registry key, it's going to prompt you for a location where you want to back up the key. Then we want to delete the key. We actually have the reg export command where it's going to export the key to the location that we provide in the script. And then it's going to delete that registry key. I'm going to uh, run this as an administrator and I'm going to change to my desktop. So as we run the script, as we notice, it says your machine is vulnerable to the Folina vulnerability, CVE 2022-30190. Would you like to disable the MSDT URL protocol and back up the registry key? Uh, the next input from the script is to actually ask, uh, but as you notice, you don't enter anything. It will just default to backing up to your desktop. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna hit enter and it already exists because I've ran this before. I'm gonna override it. Operation completed successfully twice, uh, meaning that it exported the key and it uh, deleted the registry key. 
Thankfully, the workaround for this vulnerability is not too complicated. However, using this simple PowerShell script, we can ensure that we have implemented the workaround successfully. We've deleted the proper registry key, we've backed up the registry key before we deleted it, and we have done this in a consistent way. And hopefully you guys will find this PowerShell script to be useful in your case. Attackers are always looking for ways for vulnerabilities such as this newly discovered vulnerability to take control of your environment. So stay safe guys, keep learning, and please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys soon.